This week on Peach Shop Makes, I show you how to make this cool wall clock. So if you want to find out how, stick around. What is up you guys, welcome to Peach Shop Makes. I am of course your host Peter Giamona. This week, fun, simple little build. Uh, my buddy Nick stopped by one day, saw a clock that I have in my home, asked if I can replicate it for him. Glued together some half inch plywood, edge banded it, threw it on the CNC, carved out some Roman numerals, put a clock mechanism in it, put some hands on it, bingo, bango, bongo, you got yourself a clock. So we're gonna dive right into this one, you guys, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. All right, so in order for this thing to work, you guys, um, I need a pretty thick piece of wood. Um, I don't have any one inch thick pieces that are gonna be uh, big enough. I need a piece uh, that's 20 inches in diameter. So what I do have is some half inch plywood. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut out some circles with a router cutting jig and uh, just glue them back to back. And that way it'll give me the depth for the uh, clock mechanism to be inset in the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my sheet and we can start routing that out right now. Now I'm just gonna glue both halves together. Hands down, undefeated, undisputed, clamp champ. Alrighty, now that we got all the uh, clamps off of it, gave it a quick once over with the sanding block, I'm gonna be applying some edge banding. Unfortunately, the only edge banding I have is three quarters. This is uh, about a, exactly an inch. Um, so I'm gonna have to cut just a thin strip of this and get it to wrap all the way around as well. I don't know really how that's gonna look. And you're not really gonna see the sides anyways. Obviously, it's just a clock. And I think once it's whitewashed and, and painted, um, you know, you're not even gonna notice that. But ultimately, I think it should work out fine. So. We're going to go ahead and uh, get started on that right now. All I'm doing is just trying to follow along these two pieces of ply, or these two layers, just so it stays even all the way around. Hopefully, that's the plan anyways. Alright, so it doesn't look too terrible. Once I fill that with some paint, uh, you won't even notice it's there. I think it looks better than the uh, plywood edge, that's for sure. Now I can go ahead and trim off the excess. Then we can go ahead and put this on the CNC and carve out the numbers. Hey, really quickly here, you guys, just something off topic I just wanted to share with you. Uh, this isn't for my new meth lab. This is uh, back before the holidays. I was on Granger.com, just doing some shopping like I do, and... Uh, came across all this scientific glassware. Um, got each of these boxes, $3. I got some Erlenmeyer flasks in the house. Even these huge jugs. Each of these boxes is a set of 12. So everything you see, I got basically a 12 pack of. Even these cool little glass on glass pipettes. That were pretty cool, old school. What am I gonna do with it? Uh, pfft. What am I not gonna do with it? No, I don't know. I just thought it was too good to pass up. I mean, three bucks. Where are you gonna? Uh, where are you gonna get this much glassware? Old school, cool glassware, you know, scientific glassware. So I just thought I'd share that with you guys. All right, let's go ahead and get back to this clock. Okay, so now I'm in easel. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and put up the dimensions for the clock. It will basically be just the template for the Roman numerals that I'm gonna have my CNC carve. So my clock is 19 and 7 eighths. So I'm just gonna do the uh, material dimensions the same.
Okay, now I'm just going to go ahead and import uh, a template or a Roman numeral uh, clock template. And all I'm going to be doing is just the 12, the 3, the 6, and the 9. Now I realize that not everybody has a CNC machine, but you can simply do this with a router or basically carve it out with chisels or even just with a stencil and paint the numbers on. All right, now that we've got the numbers all laid out, I can go ahead and uh, fire up the CNC and start carving. Okay, so here we are in the garage now. Sorry the lighting is so poor. Um, it's not ideal uh, location for this thing. But anyways, we got the uh, edge banding finished up. I think it looks pretty nice. You can't even uh, tell hardly that there's two layers there. And like I said, once we get the, uh, once I get it whitewashed and painted and everything, you won't even notice it at all. So. Um, they do make clamps for this thing. I'm just going to go ahead and double side tape it uh, down to the uh, spoil board. And I'm just using a 60 degree V bit in my router. And just got to turn on the controller and start carving. So I just need to basically line this thing up so it matches that. And uh, we carve in the right spots because it's kind of do or die. I only get one shot at this. So if it's not right, then um, yeah, I'm screwed. So, anyways. Let's go ahead and uh, get started on that right now. Okay, fingers crossed. Here we go. Okay, so I'm really happy with the way that turned out. I'm going to go ahead and flip it over now and cut out the pocket for the uh, clock mechanism. Okay, so now we got our pocket cut and the clock body, will just or the clock mechanism, fits in there nice and snug. If I push any harder, it's going to get stuck, so I don't want to do that. But it's a nice tight fit. So now we can go ahead and... Uh, Get it brought back to the shop and uh, get it painted and whitewashed and put some hands on it and hang it on the wall. Alright, I think that looks pretty good. So now in order to make my whitewash, I'm just going to take, uh, do an 80-20, 80% 80, uh, water, 20% white paint, and uh, just brush it on like you would anything else. So this is literally all the paint that I'm going to add to my little dish. I went ahead and even added a little drop of pearl in there, some pearl white. Um, might add a little bit of shimmer to it, but I'm just going to fill the rest up with uh, some water and then we can start spreading it on. I'm just gonna go ahead and wait for that to dry and then I can go over it again with a, a little bit lighter of a coat. Uh, it turns out I'm actually pretty happy with the uh, way that looks, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and put the clock mechanism in. That just pops in like so. This thing won't come out anyways, but I figured I should put the hardware on it. Moment of truth time. Get this battery put in.
So there we have it, you guys. Thanks for sticking around with me, checking it out. Hope you guys really enjoyed the video. If you did, I invite you to go ahead and give it a like, subscribe, share with some friends, maybe leave a comment down below. You can also check me out on Facebook, Instagram, Patreon, and Twitter, uh, at Peach Shop Makes for any questions or just to see what's going on in the shop day to day. Uh, you can uh, follow me there. Other than that, really pretty happy with the way it's turned out. Pleased with it. I think Nick will uh, enjoy it too. It was just a simple, fun little build I think anybody could do on the weekend or, you know, given half a day or whatever. You guys can knock it out pretty simple. And you don't necessarily need a CNC. You can, you know, paint the letters on or carve them out by hand, whatever. So um, really pretty universal with just some plywood and, uh, you know, a few basic tools. So again, thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I will catch you on the next one.